sure you check out our new sponsor, The Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing, 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's thehealthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. All right, man, we back. Good fella Sports TV. And uh, I'll link an article in the description from Hip Hop Overload. Shout out to them, man. Check out their website. They put a story that Meek and Rick Ross were beefing, but now was squashed. Um, you know, Rick Ross, they got some uh, Instagram posts on there. Where Rick Ross t- took the high road, if you didn't know. Uh, it was the last video I dropped Wednesday night. Depending on when I upload this, it's Thursday right now. Uh um, Wednesday night, last week I dropped about uh, Meek signing with uh, with Jay Z, and you know he getting this felony erased into his new trial star. He no longer on papers, and pretty much they had some things in there. I guess I don't know when you know some of these things went down, but uh, in the past, Rick Ross po- po- pointed out that I guess um, he basically uh, or behind the scenes, this is alleged. I'm not saying he said it that he was you know he made Meek hot. And I didn't know Meek was with T.I. He pointed out, I guess, behind the scenes once again, check the article out, that when Meek was at T.I., with T.I. help, um, Meek couldn't get his career off the ground until he came to Maybach Music. And, um, see, I didn't know he was with T.I. And some guys you sign with, man, it's like, man, come on, man. Like like Jeezy, when he signed, like, Freddie Gibbs and Doughboy Cash out from Detroit. Shout out, I'm from Detroit, so I know that. I like Freddie Gibbs. He's from Gary. He's all in the same area. And it didn't do much, you know. Jeezy wasn't a good, you know, uh, you know, segue to super for, for other artists to get on. You know, Gucci kind of put more people on than um, Jeezy did. Who else? You know, Jeezy had that one good uh, USDA album, Cold Summer. You never heard from Blood Raw Slick Puller again. I don't know why. That was a really good album. Other than that, you know, Gucci, you know, he spawned kind of like Waka Flocka. You know, OJ the Juice Man had some few good mixtapes and. You know, he had a few a few people that crossed paths. He helped get Dolph hot with the mixtape they did. So he he's responsible for more hot artists than Jeezy will. And T.I., yeah, yeah, Young Dro and, you yeah, know, a couple guys, Young L.A., but nobody really got that career off the ground. So Ross might be speaking facts. And Ross is is immaculate damn near at his beat selection. You know, his 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 uh, connections with the, what is it, the Justice Front League or whatever it is, and, and, and his beats and his connections he got, you know what, you know, maybe without Ross, you know, Meek would have never got the, the went the path he went, you know, or maybe if he would have went another path, it, it would have just worked out. But I guess, you know, if you look at it from Meek's standpoint, like my lyrics, you know, and my my work ethic making me hot. Yeah, you helped along the way, but, you know, Jay-Z and Def Jam helped you out along the way, you know, and, you know, Jay-Z, you know, I think he, uh, you know, uh, Memphis Bleak, somebody told me is the one that found Jay-Z, I mean, found Meek Mill, I mean, found Rick Ross. But I, I, you don't understand it, man. You know, you understand, like, you feel like you got a connection. You did right by Meek, and you don't hear Meek saying that, um, you know, Ross stole some money from him, or you don't see him throwing shots at Ross. But I'm going to tell you something, man. This stupid dude with this motorbike coming by. So tired of them. But, um, but Meek, but I can tell you when I noticed something, right? I noticed not too long ago, maybe a year or two ago, and if you're wondering, Meek, obligation is up to Rick Ross Maybach music he completed his albums and you didn't hear the Maybach music on none of his new music it points that out in the article but I noticed that him and Drake did a song okay they did that new song they got where he you know uh Drake you know popularized with being a simp and being a tricking on women he said I used to be I used to say hoes with a mask and a cape I'm like dude how do niggas listen to this shit but the song the song is, is overall a straight and I'm like, damn, I thought, you know, you know, I thought, you know, they weren't fucking with Drake no more. But Meek and Drake did put it behind them. So I didn't think nothing of it, you know. But apparently they, they beef behind, they, you know, Ross is mad at him behind the scene. But you know what? Um, maybe behind, this is all alleged. They saying that he said except for the Instagram post congratulating him. But really, it's, it's like, you know, Meek, Meek grew. You know what I'm saying? Meek grew and you was a part of his story. And, you know, without you providing the soil and, and the nourishment, for him to grow like he can never like disown you or say f you you know what i'm saying it's just too much bad relationships being broke off you know when somebody else upgrade or go a different route you know what i'm saying i'm glad me publicly didn't go out there and bash ross because at the end of the day man ross could have you know went public and said oh f this nigga he should have stayed with maybach music he had a dream tracer 
imprint under the Maybach music, but you know, he with Jay and Jay Rick Ross, he started, you know, with Def Jam. I think Jay was helped nourishing his career with Def Jam and shit like that. So, you know, with me, you know, rubbing shoulders with somebody else, he grew. You know, it, it's no need for them. I'm glad they didn't have a, a sloppy publicized beef where he left and, you know, and Ross said some shit. And I'm pretty sure if he really said this shit, Meek heard it. But Meek, you know, Meek, you know, Jay Z probably or somebody told him, or he just know from experience, nigga, being in the jail cell. Thinking about everything that went wrong. He didn't say Ross didn't take care of him in jail or whatever. Everything was cool. But just thinking like when you mature, like shit like this, when you hear oh, somebody could have told him, it could have been third or through a fifth person. Like, oh, yeah, Ross said you a whole ass nigga. You left and blah, blah, blah. And that's probably how Ross felt. Naturally, that's a human That's a human trait. If you felt like you treated somebody good and, you you know, you got a business, you got an employee, you treated good. But, you know, he moving on to another company where they might be paying them a dollar more or a dollar or whatever. You might go to him like, you know what? I can give you that. And he's like, well, you know what? It's my dream drive. They got stuff you can't offer, like, you know, better health insurance, discounts. You like, you know what? I can this dude everything. I bought him lunch. You know, I, you know, we let him drive the company car. We treated him good. And, you know, F that motherfucker, man. And, you know, where you, you, you damaging the relationship beyond repair. We all never working in. You never know. You know, Timmy or Jimmy or Bob or DeAndre might get to the new job and don't like it. And might want to come back. So you don't never want to burn that bridge. You know, him and Ross might do a joint album. So even though Ross felt that way, that's a natural feeling. You know what I'm saying? You try to fight it. You know, when somebody do you like that. But you sit back and think about it. You know, you're like, right, he, he growing. And you know what? He doing what's good for him. Maybe again, we work together again. Same thing with Drake and Birdman. That shows the maturity in Birdman. Drake completed his, I mean, his obligation to Birdman and, and Slim, and, and and he moved on. And Birdman said, "You know what? We'll work again in the future." He didn't burn that bridge to Drake. Drake, he completed his contractual obligation in albums, you know. And it's love. Drake is like big as fuck now. You know, you sometimes you get somebody that's under your wing that grows so big and they ambitious. You know, you don't want to be the AO or Banks and Standard Unit or Hate Have Fifty just suppressing you. Where where you don't really grow, and Ross got looked like you know what I nourished him, I helped him out. He grew bigger than the MM, MMG brand, and he might go and be someone great. So somebody see you know Meek become a billionaire or whatever, they be like, oh he started with Ross. I can start with Ross, and Ross ain't gonna hate on me and and, and, and oppress me where I can't get to my potential. And Ross got looked at that way. He took the high road publicly, like congratulations to Meek and it's you know on his deal with Jay Z. That's how you gotta do it, man. You know what, man? Get the hate out your heart. And that's the jealousy and the hatred. It comes natural sometimes. It, it depends on what you do after. Do you do you wear it on your shoulder? you wear your emotions on your sleeve? Or do you, are you able to say, you know what, man? He doing what's best for him, man. I know I feel some type of I feel like I trade him good. But you know what? It is what it is. I'm showing love. And it's all love. And that's how you do it, man. You show love. You just keep it moving. And, you know, people see, like, you know what? I work with Ross. In the beginning, and I see he let me grow where I need to grow at, and then you just see where you went wrong, guys, and see where you could have helped him out better at. But you know what? It, you know he lined himself with Jay, Michael Rubin, Robert Kraft, and he lined himself with people with bill that's billionaires. And he gonna be a billionaire one day if he keep going at the right pray pace, and he keep that work ethic. And you gotta respect it. So I'm glad that even though Ross, those are natural feelings. Like a lot of people don't want to tell you that. You know. You know, if your ex move on and she got a new nigga or, you know, he got a new nigga if you're a female, you know, if you mad, you like, oh, fuck that nigga and whatever. It look good. It's like window dressing. Their relationship might be toxic and more effed up than y'all's was. They look happy, but then again, you know what? You like, shit, let me move on. It is what it is. You know, that's just natural shit. You know, it's what you do after you feel those feelings. Are you able to to say, you know what? Fuck it, you know, or are you going to be hatred and try to get back? As you get older, and if you when you get older, if you ain't able to put that shit aside and move on and keep grinding, then you probably ain't gonna never. You're gonna be a hating ass motherfucker forever. It depends on what you do when the hate first hits your heart, when the fa- hate hate first hits your chest, when it first hits your mind. Are you man enough or woman enough to say, you know what? Or you still think like a teenager? You you know, oh fuck that nigga, I'm gonna get that nigga back. Or you like, you know what? He doing what's best for him. Hey, I'm I'm happy for him. I'm not even gonna hate on him publicly. I'm just gonna you know whatever you need, I'm there for him. And, and people that think like that, that really want to help you, that really got your best interest, they don't publicly hang you out there like that. They do what's best for you because one day they might need you again or you might need them. You don't burn bridges. And that's what I, one of the biggest things I learned in life going through my 20s. 
You know what I'm saying? But hey, I want to do a story. I'll link the article in the description. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, the Hellblaze, the Hellblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow Unboxing. Get you 18% off the 100% all natural products, lotion, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, deodorant, much, much more. Use the promo code Goodfellow Unboxing. Get 18% off. Check our playlist out music, entertainment, NFL, NBA, boxing, MMA, much, much more. And don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email. You got business, question, inquiry, sponsorship, video requests. Keep sharing the videos one time for the one time. Good.